Alrighty, wise gamers, I'm back. But this time, I took your input, and I'm just gonna go over. I'm gonna remove my beautiful face. I'm just gonna go over the predecessor games, Heroes, and Paragon Heroes. I'm gonna look to see what's different between the ones they share and the ones they don't share. Even though predecessor's new update says Iggy's out, but it's not on their website yet, so we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But let's get into it. If you like content, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button. And the, the bell so you know when I drop videos. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to the closed betas. So I'm gonna play both. I'm gonna go from there. Let's get into it, shall we? Live gamer. Alrighty, here we go. So, um, let's just start with predecessor. It looks like they have 31 heroes. Um, the unique champions they have seems to be Staris, Hira. Yeah, but it's unique champions they have. So they have two unique champions. And then we go over to Paragon over Prime. We have Marty's new Yen, so it's two. Adil's three. Mako's four. Ooh. Wukong's five. Ooh, five champions. Five unique champions. Yeah, five unique champions. And they don't even have Quang. Wow, so technically six, even though Quang was from the original um, Paragon set. So technically, all right. So let's look, see who they got and what they and how and how they're looking here. So let's go. Like solo lane. So let's see who their solo laners are. So it looks like these are all soul laners. No shot. Off lane. I guess off lane is different for them. But steel. All right, so let's look at steel first. So steel is here. Oh, that's cool how it updated it. We have no steels here. Now let's see what we got here. Was there sound coming through this? I don't even know. So we have this Q. Alright, so let's go over let's do processor first. So he has I like how I like processor's website one. It lets you upgrade the levels so you can see what you're working with, but there's a passive. Um uh, mobilizes the hero with an ability, he gains 10 plus 2% shield for 3.5 seconds. Makes him more of a bruiser. Basic attack, or it's right here. Titans blow. Alright, that looks the same. Steel bash is this one. Looks the same, but the difference is this does this slows, and then this does wow, this one does 40 damage. Oh, I'm in front of him and stuns him. Oh, this one just slows. Bull rush. Advance. Let's see, it's look the same. Yep, it's the same. This just does damage, and then this one. Yep, yep, yep so that's the same. So this is the shield. Iron quad wall for shield. Um. That looks different. You know, this looks much bigger. This looks smaller. Um, it looks like we have an ultimate. But the same. All right, so steel is the same. That's good. Now steel is the same. Let's go. Let's look at Rickdor because Rickdor and. Our predecessor seems to be a chain warden. They seem to be close to like his original. He actually does damage. Where's this one over here? And Paragon Overprime, he is more of a support. So 225 damage plus 50% magic damage. Let's just see this as applies a stun. 
Um, electrocute. Electric storm. 1% movement speed. And it deals damage. And this just deals combat damage. Here. I tried a Richter damage build the other day. And it, in my opinion, wasn't the best on process on Paragon uh, back in the day. Let's rip lash. Let's read this one. Yeah, I don't like how they don't put the stats in here, so I can't like see the stats, but there's stats here. So I mean, that's one thing Paracetamol seem to have on the up and up is uh alternate rip lash, which is just the whip, yeah, the chain whip. This looks much further, so it looks like. And then he has his passive, which just gives him a shield. Victor shields himself 50% of his maximum health and shield last till it's destroyed and refresh if the guy's not taking damage. See, there's no shield on this one. Offlane support. Support only. You can't play him in offlane. You might be able to get him in jungle with his damage stats. I might try it. Stock therapy 65 and silences them. Electrocute and the ultimate skewer. So, let's see who else do we have here. Do I have Narbash? Let's look at my boy Narbash. I actually played Narbash in Paragon Overprime. Um, looks to be the same. Marching Anthem. All right, let's check his ult out first, which is great. Great roar. Plays a drum, slowing enemies, dealing now. And this one. These are pretty much the same. What's March do? Uh, giving Nabash his allies 30% movement speed and grants eight rhythm stacks on the thing. Song of my people. Heals. You don't have stats, so I can't compare the stats. And also, it doesn't really matter because they're probably not the same. But if I have to say one thing, this passive basic attacks and abilities generate stack of rhythm that improves his ability stack from 24 times. Stacks fall off individual individual after 10 seconds at maximum stacks gain two plus three nearby ally man. Wow, you get mana regen. There's no, but he has. You gotta throw one. Dunk. Not the same. His auto attacks are the same. Relatively the same. Now I wanted to see. Let's check out Decker. Now let's just start with the ult. So here's our first big difference. So the ultimate for her is Ion Strike, which on this one. No, what's this one? No. So hers is totally different. We got the stasis bomb. Wow, so hers is act this is actually the first champion. So where they're actually different. That's like a raw old. That's a raw beam. Uh, this is her. Oh, this is actually, they're actually different. Decker could jump on airborne. And they made her passive, her, they made her passive the ignition boots for her. Interesting. Okay. So we have our first hero difference Decker. Both support, but the actual abilities are different. Very easy. What about Muriel? Let's check out Muriel. Reversal of the fortune. Prepare for flight. What's wrong with that? Was the same animation? Yep, same animation there. 
Ah, uh, consecrated ground. Which one is the bubble here? Oh, that's not the bubble. Does it not have a? Does she not have a bubble here? Nope, no bubble. Okay, so that's another difference is that there's no bubble here. Uh, that looks like it's stronger. Ultra City. That's the same thing. So, and then passive is Muriel's basic attack steal. Third level magic damage on hit. Allied target affected by Muriel's ability are granted. Sentinels on hit damage for duration. Oh, uh, see? That's another difference right here. So, we got different, different there. This is also getting me ready for. When the game comes out, because let's see. So let's go to caster. She's not a caster. What is she? A ranger? No. They even have a Lieutenant Gabelica and Paragon over time. There she is. But we're going to look at phase first. This phase is a support in this game, and in this one, she's a mid laner. So that's a difference right there. And then we have her ultimate is Hyperflux. And her ultimate on this one is. Her ultimate on this one is an explosion, which is this one. Oh, after casting an ability, she heals over three seconds. I don't see the same healing effect, does not stack. Okay, so that's the link. Psychic flare, so that's the link over here. There's the beam, which is this one. It does look like it does a lot of damage. And Hyperflux is phase overcharge herself and her link. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is R. Her R. It's just a pushback. Hmm. Oh, she's an expert level difficulty. Well, so far, based off of the website, I like predecessor's website more. And the fact that like it gives you level up details. It gives you the where each level is. I mean it gives you the difficulty and the role compared to here, it just says casters. Um, there's no information on like the damage of the ability, like how much it does, what it does. Um, the videos seem to be the same. So that's good. Uh, yeah. So I guess we'll just have to find out truly when I go to play it, the true feel. So if you guys in the comment section down below have played both and you can tell me what I should be looking forward to playing one. I've already played this bad boy. I'll put the links in the description up here. Right there. Poop, 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 poop. Up right here. Card, click it. Um, this one I have not, but this one will be out on open. This one will be on closed beta the 5th. So I'll be looking forward to playing that one. And then depends if they're going to give me all my characters or not. Or how they give out the few characters. So we'll have to play that by ear. As always, if you like content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button. And if you want to see me go over anything else in this game that's on their website, uh, just let me know in the comments below. Stay wise, wise gamers, and thank you for the Fortress Bad Game Decisions.